something I've worked on for, for a while, um, dealing with wind turbines and trying to get the power into our grid. Um, one of the problems is these common grid tie inverters that you see here. Um, it's really designed for solar power. And solar panels put out somewhat fixed amperage depending on the sun. I mean, it might, it might change a little. The wind power is very different. Um, one minute to the next, power can be different by you know, a factor of five to eight times. So the common uh, grid tie inverters don't work well with wind. Um, what I've done is devise this little simple circuit uh, which meters the power to the grid tie inverter. It'll only allow about two amps. Um, grid tie inverters, if you hook them up direct to a battery, will pull maximum amps, 10 amps, which is pretty hard on a battery. Um, our wind turbine might be putting out 10 watts, 50 watts, 80 watts. Um, so what we want to do is meter the amount of wattage that that grid tie inverter can take. So let me show you uh, what I got set up here. Um, the watt meter right there. And that will show us how many watts we're putting back into the grid. Here's the circuit diagram. Basically we're going to input positive, negative into an oscillator circuit. This is a toroid. So we've got L1, L2, and L3. We're going to put up uh, we're going to put up on the circuit uh, capacitor about a hundred ohm. This you can vary. It will change your frequency. I've got a 68 ohm in one. I've got a hundred ohm in the other. Diode to the base. This is a 2N3055 transistor. So what happens is instead of just sending you know direct um, unmetered DC to the GTI we're going to break it up and pulse it and when we chop it into a square wave we basically are changing the, the frequency duty cycle and although it's getting 18 volts it's not getting as much amperage um, this is the configuration I set up here if we go direct from a wind turbine um, wind power in the yellow through a rectifier store it in a capacitor acts like a little buffer sort of like a miniature battery run it through the oscillator circuit out the transistor and out the red and black wires to our GTI what I've got here is a little alternator I'm going to hand turn that simulating wind power and you can watch down here there's some little green lights you'll see those and watch the the watt meter good tie inverters on there's three watts All right, this is a smaller version of the same circuit. Um, it doesn't have the capacitor, doesn't have the rectifier. So this would go between, um, for instance, a controller that can turn on, um, say at 18 volts, turn off at you know 16 volts. So what we're going to do is simulate the battery being turned on. GTI is warming up. We're at 36, 40, 47, 49. So this is going to peak out at right around 48 watts through that little circuit. And as the battery voltage drops, the watts will drop slightly. Now if you had a wind turbine that was putting out on average 50 watts, um, this wouldn't put such a, a, a pressure on the battery. It would pull out roughly what the wind turbine is putting out. Okay, for fun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, this circuit. I'm going to hook a battery into it. So this battery is sitting right at sort of a, a marginal place where the grid tie inverter won't. 
All right, this circuit's just been pulling off the battery All right around 26, 27. I'm going to go ahead and simulate the wind. And that's windy. Try and get that up towards 30. It's not hard to turn, it's just RPM wise. I can't I can't turn this at 120 RPM. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll keep refining this, but this seems to be a pretty easy and good direction to go um, to break up that, that DC into uh, pulse DC and um, let the grid tie inverter do, do the work for you to get the power into the grid. May not need a battery. Anyway, thank you for watching.